Um, we also do internet design and development. Not quite as visually exciting as the web stuff. Um, but there's a there's different sort of uh, different things you've got to attack when you're doing these. Mostly, obviously, it's it's, it's all information. You're showing loads and loads of data to people to every day. So it's kind of keeping that keen, making sure it's intuitive, making sure everything's quite legible, contrast-wise, with, with, with fonts and text and colours. Um, this is the contacts and events management system for NSTAR. So we showed a little bit of it because it's not the most exciting thing to look at, but it's just simple things about like information architecture. Joan Constabulary, we do their database and their internet. Um, I guess it manages the wealth of information, so just make sure it's all very intuitive, everything's very simple to find. Um, 21st century media, it's a process management system which is completely complex, but again, just keeping it very simple and clean, easy to use. Um, and a quite recent one, uh, the former in Shipping Engineering, they have another company called Shipping Engineering Services, and just working on their internet that they sort of log into every single day. So just keeping it, again, just easy to use information, very intuitive, pulling out the key facts that they need to find, things and places they need to get to. And um, this is a recent one that we're just working on at the moment for ITV. Um, basically, they have a department that does all the, the sign language for every single program that you see that has it on. So they have to have an interface where there's someone sat there actually watching the, the video, sort of like typing in what they're saying at the same time. You do it with a pedal and fast forward it and rewind it and stuff. So again, just trying to keep it quite slick looking, quite sort of uh, efficient. And um, we also do e-marketing systems, as I mentioned before. Um, that's for things such as like uh, simple e-newsletters. So this will actually pop into your inbox. And it's, it's almost like a sort of stripped down website, if you like, where you've got sort of anchor list of, of the news items. You click on that and it'll take you, it'll shoot you down the list of whatever that news article is. And then hopefully that will show you back through to the website. So, um, it's just another sort of way of marketing that's a lot more cost effective than doing print, print based materials. A lot of the sort of uh, skills you'd have actually developing a website, um, obviously, would sort of play into this as well. Um, one for time with musician museums, um, just obviously uh, advertising the latest exhibitions. So, again, using strong photography, you put a lot of space on that, being simple information there. So that's actually like a, an invite to um, the opening of a Exhibition and that's a sort of generic sort of news, uh, news articles down the side, just key points of interest and uh, items pulled out to the right hand side. Uh, Newcastle Partnership, bought the sort of website a few minutes ago. Again, just to see how the, the actual um, design of the website can actually just move on to the actual e news there. So it's obviously it's just in the same style, the same sort of brand. So when people find that in their inbox, they've instantly kind of like, ah, oh, yes, I know who that is, and um, through key information um, or events that they might want to get invited to. Uh, more sort of print-based graphic design and branding. Um, it's always nice when we get to work with a, a company from the ground up. This company um, had a really bad 70s logo and a terrible name, so we, we sat down with them and, and sort of worked with them from the ground up to come up with a new identity. Um, and then sort of in the end of both, so the book, as both was explained, um, the new market research, so the main thing they're doing there is to communicate and talking to people. So obviously this, uh, uh, this logo identity here is all based on that sort of communication with the speech level, but then sort of taking on a bit of a 3D slam to make it a bit more interesting. Um, they're quite sort of young and fresh in the company, so again, the use of the, the plain cyan there, just a really sort of bold and sort of fresh colour. Then we did things like obviously uh, came up with these uh, icon iconography as well, but they can use on things like proposals that they send out to clients. So we might have a platform they do for Necros to do with Metro. So on that cover there, they've actually got a train symbol to use, um, just to again, just to give it a little bit more sort of breadth across the stuff that they do. And we took that across to online stuff, um, you can use that as um, websites, all that sort of stuff as well. Um, this is a very simple little one, did, just a small startup company called Robert Stewart, Stress Management and Therapy. Uh, just very clean, simple, he's a very sort of like one-on-one -on -one sort of guy. And I mean, obviously being, you get there and you're stressed and you're going to tear your hair up, but once you've seen the guy, I think it's nice and cool, aren't you? So, just a simple little nice idea, idea that we uh, like to show. Um, also with the having the Redbox Gallery based in the same building that we're in. We're quite lucky to, to have all the different exhibitions every couple of months that come in there. And we get to do the exhibition um, invites for each one. So we try to attack them with a different, different style for each one, depending on what the actual uh, the artwork is. So this one here is a kind of a cross between these fish and birds and gods and all people in nature. It's a very striking imagery, so we just kept it there. It's a, ne a nice stretch of font, just like the sort of imagery do the talking for itself. But each one of that's come completely wild and different every time we get it. Um, Stellix is a very serious company that do catering equipment and manufacturers. So, for example, if you go into the, the kitchens here, all the sort of the stainless steel kitchens and 
cookers and everything that they do, they actually fabricate them from the start. So we came up with this logo identity for them using the sort of X as an idea of this kind of, of sort of parts fit together, sort of very structured. We push that through to their website, which is an e-commerce site that's being built at the moment. And uh, a catalogue as well, which is like lists of reams and reams of tables and stuff. Um, we also do um, animation and interactive media, as I mentioned before. Um, this is the campus safety system, which I'll come back to in a minute. I believe I have a copy of it. So I'll come back to that one. Um, this is something for Durham Police, because sadly, which we're actually rolling out to some of the other um, police, because sadly, it's around the country, um, which is kind of an interactive, all based in Flash and uh, reduction, just giving people knowledge on um, opportunities to crime, things like around the home, vehicle security, personal security, um, in a kind of a more visually interesting manner, because if you give out sort of like printed plain pamphlets and stuff, it's very boring, people don't retain that information. If you make it interactive and quite visual animated, people sort of get into that. Let's see if I can come back to the other one. Um, this is a game we did for Tully House. Um, again, sort of aimed at children, helping them sort of learn to count, and see things to do, like Roman emails and going back in the day. So snakes and ladders are very old school, sort of looking for your two little sort of one board, and players can actually count and move around and play against the computer, they can play against a, a friend as a two player one if they want to. Um, and that's pretty much it for a, a broad range. I'll show you the uh, campus safety system as well, because that's quite an interesting one. <coughs>